Evangelistic Impact. This message is interpreted and broadcast by Word of Inspiration International Radio from Bukaramanga, Colombia, which is an outreach of the worldwide missionary movement. Let's listen to our speaker, the founder of the worldwide missionary movement, Reverend Wisem Ortiz, through the voice of our interpreter. Satanism. Man has an insatiable curiosity to know the future. They also want to be like God. Even when they cannot resolve their present problems, they worry about and lean toward knowing the problems and events of the future. This gave origin to the many religions of the ancient world. Satan, taking advantage of man's curiosity, for knowing the unknown, today has revived occultism or science of the occult and all its variants. In the Gospel according to Matthew chapter 4 verses 1 through 11 we read, Then was Jesus led up of the Spirit into the wilderness to be tempted of the devil. And when he had fasted forty days and forty nights, he was afterward and hungered. And when the tempter came to him, he said, If thou be the Son of God, command that these stones be made red. But he answered and said, It is written, Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceedeth out of the mouth of God. Then the devil taketh him up into the holy city, and seateth him on a pinnacle of the temple, and saith unto him, If thou be the Son of God, cast thyself down, for it is written, He shall give his angels charge concerning thee, and in their hands they shall bear thee up, lest at any time thou dash thy food against stone. Jesus saith unto him, It is written again, Thou shalt not tempt the Lord, Thy God, again the devil taketh him up into an exceeding high mountain, and showeth him all the kingdoms of the world, and the glory of them, and saith unto him, All these things will I give thee, if thou wilt fall down and worship me. Then saith Jesus unto him, Get thee hence, Satan, for it is written, Thou shalt worship the Lord thy God and him only shalt thou serve. Then the devil leaveth him, and behold, angels came and ministered unto him. In the past publications of our magazine, Evangelistic Impact, we have dealt with some false teachings whose origin and provenance the Holy Spirit indicates as from spirits of error and doctrines of devils. Through these full doctrines of demonic origin, the devil tries to deceive and corrupt a people, and also, albeit indirectly, seeks to be recognized and even worshipped. But in these verses that deal with the temptation of Jesus in the desert, the devil openly sought to be worshipped when he says, All these things will I give thee, if thou wilt fall down and worship me. As a matter of fact, that was the cause of his fall, his desire to be equal to God, to receive adoration. In chapter 14 of the prophet Isaiah, we find five declarations of Lucifer in his rebellion. In the English version, the personal pronoun I is highlighted. It reads, I will ascend into heaven, I will exalt my throne, I will sit, I will ascend above the heights, I will be like the Most High. For each of these arrogant declarations, in judging him and casting him down, God answers him thus, I will cast thee out of the mountain of God, I will destroy thee from the midst of the stones of fire, I will cast thee to the ground. 
I bring forth the fires from the midst of thee. It shall devour thee, and I will bring thee to ashes upon the earth. Ezekiel 28, 16 through 19. Satan has neither changed his purpose nor his desire to be worshipped, knowing that his days are numbered when he will finally be cast into the lake of fire and brimstone for all eternity, he fiercely strives to obtain service and worship from as many as he can. Men has an insatiable curiosity to know the future. They also want to be like God. Even when they cannot resolve the problems they have in the present, they worry and lean toward knowing the problems and events of the future. These gave origin to the many religions of the ancient world. Satan, taking advantage of this curiosity of men for knowing the unknown, today even in the Western world, by his work, Satan has revived occultism, or science of the occult, and all its variants, which are nothing else but the many unvaried ways of which Satan seeks to be worshipped, in other words, Satanism. Thus, in many cities of today's Western world, many groups of people come together to worship Satan. In Louisville, Kentucky, the participants meet in a basement. The altar has black curtains. The emblem is a giant fork. There is also the figure of a male goat. The voice of one of them is heard saying, Satan, you have seen fit to concede your priesthood here on earth, the deification of the human race. Here is mentioned one of, the, of those present. In Oakland, California, when the moon is full, a group of people with academic preparation meet and dress and dance the witchcraft dances. In Chicago, Illinois, another group meets weekly in a temple of the Camino Pagano to receive instructions in witchcraft and magic. In San Francisco, California, Anton Sondor LaVey, a former circus pawn, was induced by Satan to found the first church of Satan, which promotes and reveals insects, revenge, and all kinds of sin, and whose altar is a table on which is a totally naked woman. The church, Iglesia del Proceso del Juicio Final, has Satan as its divinity. The crystal balls are at their height. Astrology blossoms. Bookstores that sell books on magic and occultism make great profits. The cards, the reading of the palms of the hands, numerology, divination, witchcraft, consulting the dead, which is really consulting demons, even the false prophetic messages, all this is on the date's agenda, and all this because of the rebellion of man against God. The message of the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ is submission unto God. But in the occultism, which is Satanism, the predominant motive is to do what one wants, to do one's own will and whim. Such is the revival of occultism that today through the TV channels in the U.S., Puerto Rico, and other countries, the modern witches and practitioners of occultism, so-called psychics, offer their satanic services. A long time ago, I received a letter from New York City, and the singer, who also claims to be Christ, says, I already came back to the earth many years ago. The prophecy has been fulfilled. I am the one who was to come, and I've arrived since the 28th of November, 1931. I am the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. A pamphlet entitled Heavenly Government, a Prophecy for All Nations, came to my hands. Many announcements in regard to this same pamphlet, Heavenly Government, have been in the daily news. Another also proclaims himself to be judge and prophet of the heavenly government. This same native prophet says that another heavenly Bible 
is in the possession of the federal government of the United States of America. That Satan is tied in a Texan valley since 1955, and that Jesus Christ will return in a valley of Vega Baja, Puerto Rico. There is no shortage of those who believe such atrocities. How many Christ have appeared? I have personally met several of them, and they each claim to be the real one. But the true Christ of the Bible has warned us against these, and said, For many shall come in my name, saying, I am Christ, and shall deceive many. Matthew 24, 5. The Apostle John also admonishes us about the same, and says, Little children, it is the last time, and as ye have heard that Antichrist shall come, even now are there many Antichrists whereby we know that it is the last time, 1 John 2.18. My friends, occultism or satanism, with all its ramifications, will rise to its peak and culmination after the Church of Jesus Christ is lifted to the heaven and the Antichrist appears. He will be the satanic messiah, and through him Satan will receive total recognition and worship in the world, which has been his crazed passion. But this party will only last for a short time, only seven years, for then the second coming of the Lord Jesus Christ to these earth will take place. The Bible says, Now we beseech you, brethren, by the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ, and by our gathering together unto him, that ye be not soon shaken in mind, or be troubled, neither by spirit, nor by word, nor by letter as from us, as that the day of Christ is at hand. Let no man deceive you by any means, for that day shall not come, except there come a falling away first, and that man of sin be revealed, that son of perdition, the Antichrist who opposeth and exalteth himself above all that is called God, or that is worship, so that he, as God, seateth in the temple of God, showing himself that he is God. Remember ye not that when I was yet with you, I told you these things? And now ye know what withholdeth, that he might be revealed in his time. For the ministry of iniquity doth already work. Only he who now letteth will let until he be taken out of the way. And then shall that wicked be revealed, whom the Lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth, and shall destroy with the brightness of his coming. Even him whose coming is after the working of Satan, with all power and signs and lying wonders and with all the civilness of unrighteousness in them that perish, because they received not the love of the truth, that they might be saved, and for this cause God shall send them strong delusion, that they should believe a lie, that they all might be damned, who believed not the truth, but had pleasure in unrighteousness. Second Thessalonians 2, 1-12 Beloved, it is very sad that one who has never known the gospel of Jesus Christ be condemned and lost for following all these lies and deceptions of the devil. But it is sadder and more painful, but it is sadder and more painful that people who know the gospel and who are members of churches and even preachers be condemned and lost for having turned their ears from the truth of the word of God to listen to those simulations, imitations, fallacies, occultism and satanism which God abhors. Deuteronomy 18.10-12 through 12 says, There shall not be found among you anyone that maketh his son or his daughter to pass through the fire, or that useth divination or an observer of times, or an enchanter, or a witch, 
or a charmer, or a consulter with familiar spirits, or a wizard, or a necromancer. For all that do these things are an abomination unto the Lord. And because of these abominations, the Lord thy God, drive them out from before thee. In Revelations 21.8 we read, But the fearful and unbelieving and the abominable and murderers and harmongers and sorcerers and idolaters and all liars shall have their part in the lake which burneth with fire and brimstone, which is the second death. Beloved, the only thing that can counter, stop, and crush this revival of occultism and current Satanism is a mighty outpouring of the Holy Spirit with his miraculous gifts and operation. And this is available for the Church of Jesus Christ. Yes, beloved, that the fire of the Holy Spirit descend and consume the practices of Simon the Magician, of the bird Jesus, of the soothsayers, of the fortune tellers, of the astrologers, of the psychs, and all those who spread heresies, anti-biblical teachings and practices. Friend, if you have been deceived in these things, today is the day to come out of darkness and to come into the glorious light that is Jesus Christ. Beloved, If you have been seduced in any of these things, be freed in this moment. In John chapter 8, 32, we find that Jesus said, And ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall set you free. Amen. If this message was a blessing for you, write us at word.inspiration at hotmail.com Visit our website www.imiw.org or call us at 57764-2286. God bless you.